Hi, I'm Vikram and welcome to my Java video series. In today's discussion, we'll talk about polymorphism. We have already discussed about encapsulation, inheritance. Now it's time to discuss the polymorphism. So let's discuss the meaning of this polymorphism. Poly means many, morphism means forms. So when there are multiple forms for something, we call it polymorphic. Let's take one example. Suppose uh, this is a person. Suppose I'm a person here, and I work as a trainer for you. I I work as a I work as a friend when I meet my friends. I work as a student when I go to uh, learn something from someone. Suppose I go to uh, learn how to play a guitar, so I will behave there like a student. Some when I go to my family, I'm a child for my parents, and when I'm in this company, I work like a software architect my actual duty is software architect but i'm working in multiple roles so my roles are different in different situation so one person is working in five different roles so i call it it's a polymorphic behavior of the person so this one person is polymorphic right now the most challenging part in this polymorphism is a person is capable to work in multiple roles but he has to take a decision and select the appropriate role otherwise he will be confused it should not happen like uh, when i'm going to learn something from someone i'm behaving like a trainer because here i'm a trainer for you and when i go to learn guitar and i started tra i started my tra java training to that guitar trainer so this is not the case so we should not mix our roles it is not the case when i go to my family and i, I started taking a batch for my parents so i started training i have started java training for my parents so this should not happen actually so a person is working in different roles but he do not mix up the roles so he need to remember this and we we call it a decision so when a person can work in different roles he need to decide a particular role and that's what we call act as decision making so polymorphism in the case of polymorphism you always required decision making so in polymorphism decision making is required to select appropriate role so in the current case when i'm talking about a human we are capable to take the decision our mind is capable to take the decision according to the situation and place to select the role so for example when i'm in classroom i know i have to train here java but when i meet my developers when i go to my development team I, I i know my role is the software architect so when i go to the development team i work for the software architect job but when i come to you i'm working here as a trainer so a person can work in different role but he is capable to take the decision on the basis of the situation and place and this is done actually by the mind your mind is powerful who can do this job so now let's take a quick classification of the polymorphism so polymorphism is polymorphism is categorized in two ways on the basis of this decision making so who can take the decision in in my programming language so we have compiler and java virtual machine who can take the decision so here according to this decision making process either it is done by the compiler or java virtual machine polymorphism is categorized in two parts one is your compile time polymorphism when compiler is taking the decision another it's a runtime polymorphism when jvm is taking the decision so you can uh, use different terms for this it's a compile time polymorphism or compile time binding or it's early binding or static binding or static polymorphism there are different terminologies used here similarly for runtime polymorphism you have different terms like runtime binding late binding dynamic binding dynamic polymorphism like this so the best term to understand this polymorphism is this binding so binding is very important so we'll we'll talk about the binding in follow discussion so now we have two things here uh, method overloading is part of compile time binding in java and method overriding is part of runtime binding in java and there is one more topic we learn in c++ which is operator overloading so this is part of the runtime binding it's it is part of the runtime polymorphism 
operator overloading is runtime polymorphism but it is not supported in java this is there is no runtime polymorphism sorry so there is no uh, operator overloading present in java now before moving ahead we should talk about the meaning of this overloading because this is very 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 important to understand the polymorphism so overloading means doing something more than its capacity for example uh, we have capacity to carry two person in a bike but you can see more than two persons uh, on the single bike so for example two bike uh, in a one bike only two persons can sit but here in india we can be more than two or three or even more so this is called overloading so more than its capacity capacity is just two persons but there are more than two persons on the bike you will see usually so this is overloading for example just imagine a truck when it is capable to carry 20 tons for example there is one truck capable to carry 20 tons of goods but it is carrying 13 tons 14 tons means when you do this when you uh, carry the 14 15 tons but whereas the capacity is just 10 tons you can save the uh, you know transportation cost by 5 tons so uh, when going through the overloading approach you can utilize your system more than its capacity right your capacity is just 10 tons but you can carry 15 20 tons 15 tons right so utilizing the system more than its capacity is actually the overloading right so now let's have a look at the operator overloading which is actually not supported in java but conceptually we can discuss here for example we have one plus operator this is an arithmetic operator this is a mathematical operator it's, it is responsible for numerical addition it's an arithmetic operator when you do here 10 plus 20 you will see here 30 but in java i can use here hello plus friends you will see here hello friends it's a string concatenation so this plus operator is actually a mathematical operator but i can do here concat job similarly i can do here matrix addition when you have a b and c when all three are matrices you can do the a plus b adding two matrices and storing the data in different matrices different matrix right so here we have a single operator plus which is useful in three cases which is ex its capacity is extended to numerical addition concatenation and matrix addition and that's why we call it polymorphism so one operator three forms it's a polymorphism and and we call it as a operator overloading overloading means increasing the capacity plus operator is capable for addition but its capacity is extended to concatenation and matrix addition so here uh, here in java uh, this concatenation is supported it is internally supported in java so we do not have permission to do the operator overloading in java but internally it is being used right now the point is now the question is why it is not supported in java why this uh, operator overloading is not supported in java the uh, most important thing is java is a simple programming language and we prefer to go with the simple concepts so java has removed all the complicated things in the uh, from their programming language and they have they kept all the simple things in java and operator overloading is a topic which is little tricky and i think we can uh, write good softwares without operator overloading so internally it is done in the uh, system at the system level it is it is it is internally implemented but as a programmer i cannot uh, redefine the meaning of any operator in java right so to keep the java simple and easier to learn easier to implement it is removed from the java similarly there is no pointers in java because pointers are the complicated things right so java is a simple programming language and they keep it simple with the help of simple things to achieve maximum results java follow is strategy like uh, we can achieve more things with the help of less concepts so we have few things 
to produce more results. So Java is basically derived from this small talk programming language where with the help of less features, less tools, we can achieve maximum results. And we are not handy uh, in fact today. So we are not using any pol uh, operator overloading but we can get the results. And sometime uh, we can misuse the operators. For example, when someone is doing the plus, we can uh, redefine its meaning to minus. So uh, in one shot you can see the plus but you can uh, the results will be minus so something uh, misuse you can do here with the help of this operator overloading so here uh, in fact I can do the uh, similar operator overloading job with the help of functions look at this uh, have a look at this simple example how to do this job how to do the operator overloading job through function just have a uh, look at this example if we have one we have declared a class here matrix uh, it is taking here data in uh, two dimensional array just a skeleton code it's a code snipped small for demonstration purpose so we have got here some data in two dimensional array and we created a function here sum it's a static function and it is taking two matrices as input a and b will be the input matrices and it will produce some output which is your matrices it's a return type right so just imagine that you created here one matrix a another b and you you are calling a method here matrix dot sum a comma b so you are passing here a comma b you are passing here two matrices as input to this sum method and we are getting here c as a resultant matrix so this this is actually done by the matrix addition through the operator overloading like this a plus b equals to this is given to the c assigned to the c the similar job i can do here through the method also so we can do we can achieve the results even without operator overloading right now this is a introductory discussion on the polymorphism right in coming video in next video we'll talk about the a method overloading in next video we'll discuss about the method overloading and we'll cover up one example also so thank you very much for now